Hey everyone, in this tool I'm going to show you how to use my uh, NFL lineup uh, spreadsheet lineup optimizer. So what this tool basically will do is run lineups based on projections based um, with the constraints of salary and the other uh, uh, site constraints for like FanDuel and DraftKings. So what you want to do first time you get this is enter in your login information. If you don't have it yet, the temp login in there should, should work and you'll, you'll get it sent within 24 hours. You can cut refresh logins if it doesn't happen to happen to work. Just you only have to do that the first time. When you're all set, you're gonna click refresh this week's data. It's gonna pull in all the current week's uh, games. Down below are the the stats, and you can also choose what to refresh. If you want to include refresh the stats, the weather, the injuries. Sometimes you might just want to in refresh just the injuries because you already refreshed the stats for the week. Then when you're all set, it's gonna have all the games here with all the over under all the Vegas odds you can scroll down here if you want to do some of your research it's got all your players information here with our projections your projections uh, player rank against position and uh, different stats and so on when you're all set to create lineups this um, will tell you which lineups you want so say you're playing the full slate all the games you're going to put keep yes next to all of them and click transfer. If you're not playing, say, the Monday night game, click no to it. You're playing all the other ones. Click transfer players. And in a few seconds, it'll take you to the, this is our lineup optimizer tool. So here's all the players. You can uh, go down here. Here's our projections. You can adjust these because it's just Excel. Say you want to make this 22, make it a little higher. You can go down, change what you want. If you want to include a player in there, you're going to go in here, put an X next to say AJ Green. You want to include him in there, you put an X. If there's someone you want to exclude, if you're running on our projections, just Ezekiel Elliott, make it a zero projections. That's just how to include and exclude. And before I actually get into running the projections, if we look here, you're going to get to choose which projections to run it on. You can choose it on ours, yours, or average. The average is this column just the 2018 average. Ours are our projections which we come up with and yours are what you can upload. To upload them you're going to go over to the Your Projections tab. You're just going to copy and paste say you might have got projections from another website or you just do your own projections separately. You can copy and paste them here in the columns A and B and then you would upload them. You want to just make sure there's no red error marks. If, if an error comes up like see here it says it's Philip River, so that's not his real name. Sometimes, like say Melvin Gordon, you might have just typed in Melvin Gordon. It, it's going to say there's an error, because there's a spelling error, because it has to match what's in our main tab. So you're going to check the main tab, you find them on there, and then type it in until you get rid of the errors. Most of the time you can easily just tell by looking at the name. So once you have that all set, you're going to click Add Your Projections to the Stats tab. And then it's going to upload them here. Now, if you you'll look down here on the stats tab, see so go to your projections, and here's all the projections that we uploaded, right here. So then you you still have to move them over to the lineup optimizer by clicking transfer players. And now see we got the your projections here. So I only uploaded a handful of projections. If you're going to run lineups, you're going to make sure you have to basically have projections for almost everybody. So what I'm going to do is just run the projections based on ours, because we've got everything. How many lineups do I want? You can have 10, 25, 75, or 150. I'm going to do 25. You can do FanDuel, DraftKings, or Yahoo. I'm just going to do a FanDuel lineups. It'll take a few seconds to run the lineups. There, now it's going to take you to the lineup page. It's got all the players. Here's, here's your lineups, starting with the highest projected points and all the way down. Here's lineup two, lineup three, lineup four. And it, if you scroll down all the way down and it'll take you to uh, lineup 25, which is the lowest down here. It's the same stuff in the in the your lineups tab. You just gotta scroll up and it's got all these same lineups. And then if, if you like these, you'll go here and you can upload them to uh, a CSV file. Or if you're only playing one or two lines, you don't right now want to upload them all. You can just go on here, 
and just say, okay, I want to play this lineup. And then you could just copy and paste, copy it right into uh, DraftKings or, or FanDuel or what we played FanDuel here. So you just copy right in there. But say if you wanted a CSV file, we got the drop down here. We're playing FanDuel. We're going to export the lineups. And it created a, a FanDuel upload file for you. You're just going to, all you got to do now is go into FanDuel and upload it. And you can, you'll have uh, all your lineups there. This will work for DraftKings, Yahoo. Also, after you ran the lineups, it'll tell you here that your exposures. Like you got McCaffrey in 24 of the 25 lineups, Edelman in 15 of the lineups, all the way down. And if you ran this and say, well, I really don't want McCaffrey in, in 24 of the lineups. So what you do, you just go in here, you look, look for McCaffrey. There he is. If you're not sure, you can do um, Windows, you can do Control F. And do a find and you can start typing in the name and it'll find it so we got McCaffrey here we ran it he's got a 22 projection we're like oh maybe that's a little high how about we put it down to 21 and then if we re rerun it it'll take a few seconds and we got to see if that's enough we'll go back to, to the multi lineups tab and we'll go over and check. And now McCaffrey's only in 17 lineups. So that's how you you can um, adjust it. And that is mainly our pretty much our lineup tool. Hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions, though, let me know. And um, good luck. Thanks.